Hey, what's up? This is Chosen. Happy Monday to you. And it is time to get our Raid Shadow Legends week kicked off. We have got the Oella Fusion, and we can finally see a screenshot in game of the epics required there for the fusion here on the news post. So, what we are going to do is get your week kicked off for everything that you need to know heading into the week so you can prepare properly to play efficiently. Let's get into it. Alrighty, now obviously the most important thing going on this weekend, or at least the biggest, most newsworthy thing in game is going to be the Oella Fusion, who is going to be a magic affinity support from the Sylvan Watchers. And if you are curious where the polling sits right now, we uh, it's, been, it's been pretty stable here for, for a little while. You've got 4% saying that she's excellent, 9% saying that she's trash, and then the most common response amongst the audience being meh of 55%. I think that was like 53% the last video we did or so. So uh, probably uh, one of the lower hyped up fusions compared to some of your Helicath and Nishok and Pytheon. And we, we've had some pretty good ones lately. Lately. This one will be a little bit more of a regression back to the norm, at least in terms of hype from the community to get after the champion and how people kind of view the potential of her kit. And it, it seems to be that the, the most notable thing that people are believing in the potential of is going to be right here on the A3 Morphosis, where you've got the filter meter of all allies by 30%. And then you've got the 50% uh, increased resistance on all allies with a booked up three turn cooldown. When we book this up, this goes to a three. So that looks like to be the thing people are most excited about because manipulating resistance is a newer thing to the game. So there isn't a whole lot of champions that do it, uh, especially on a three turn cooldown, either increasing resistance or decreasing resistance. And this can be very, very important to, uh, to, to build up in some of your rosters at some points when you're putting teams together. So having the three turn cooldown, turn meter and increased resistance is pretty cool uh, and this is why I always say uh, you probably shouldn't skip a fusion if you've got the resources to realistically go after it now I don't think she's Duchess or something crazy that you should be blowing up your wallet and your whole account for but like you know uh, you know someone like me who is endgame and been playing for a while and has some resources stocked up I am gonna try at least out the gate uh, we will see how realistic the events are but I am out the gate gonna be at least trying to embark on the fusion and and that would be my general recommendation for the player base is try to do it if it's realistic for you but don't feel bad about missing out if your account just isn't in a position to go after the events and we do actually have a test server for oella but we are not allowed to talk about anything on the test server until tomorrow which you know at the time of me recording this video it's about 15 or 16 hours until information can come out on the test server so you will start to see a lot of videos tomorrow uh from your favorite content creators because the uh, the embargo will be up when we can talk about uh the, the things on the test server and i'll be able to actually go live and hang out with you the viewer and answer your questions showing you a max out Oella and all of that to arm you with as much knowledge as possible. I would say that the notable thing right now is we can see from the graphic here in game that there is only the one epic champion right here. So it's going to be four of the same epic that fuse in to Oella and we will probably have one of those epics up for grabs in like a champion chase or a summon rush so that you can skip out on some of the rares because it will be a standard fusion where you've got the 16 rares that fuse into the four epics and the four epics that fuse in to Oella, but the, you know those 16 rares and those four epics they can be the same champion so it looks like it is going to be just one epic fusing into Oella and like they say right here in just a few days on february 9th so this is going to be starting towards the end of this week uh as we ramp into like thursday and friday that is when the Oella fusion will be officially kicking off in game Oh, and would you look at this? I guess there must have been some uh, some downtime. So, uh, you know, I did notice that Raid had an announcement on their official Discord about uh, doing maintenance. So it looks like we're getting a day of XP and 50 multi-battles, 400 energy, and 200,000 silver for some of the shenanigans that were going on overnight with the game being down and needing some maintenance.
Then to help you prepare your shards and summoning efficiently, let's pull up the event calendar. Now, uh, also let me get the pen right here. So uh, we are gonna be coming up this weekend, obviously to February 10th. And that means we've got two X voids coming in just four or five days. And then also this weekend, it will be time to pr uh, prepare for a CVC soon. That yes over there means uh, CVC soon. So uh, this weekend, two uh, X voids means that if you are in the early or progression phase of your account it's a great time to pull void shards and, and and acquire some of those big epics your seers your man eaters your skull crowns your 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 madam saris and then also have a chance of getting a legendary but keep in mind uh that we do want to pay attention to the guaranteed event schedule because obviously they're slamming out the void guarantees all the time so it's hard to give blanket sweep advice anymore because of all the craziness going on in raid as to when you should pull your shards but this weekend there will probably be a reason to pull some voids anymore. Anyway, once we get the calendar, we'll probably see that there is a champion chase or a summon rush type of event where you're going to want to pull at least a few void shards. And I'll keep you in the loop on what the efficient route is to go there. Then next weekend, we will probably get, we just had a guaranteed event. So we'll probably get some sort of 10 X next weekend. And then the next two X event will be two X ancients on February 24th. So for the in-game stuff, it's going to be uh, a little bit calm for the next couple of days, probably without a whole lot going on. You'll want to focus on your clan quests. You can see that those are going to be resetting. And then you also want to make sure you've got your Hydra fights done here to start the week, as that will also be resetting here pretty soon. You can see that the Hydra is going to be one day, a, a day and a half, basically. It's usually a day after the clan quest. So for uh, Monday and Tuesday, you want to make sure you're getting that stuff done. You want to keep your tag team arena in order because we will be getting a CVC next Tuesday launching eight days from now as far as tournaments and events there really isn't a whole lot uh, going crazy but uh, there is a special fire night tournament coming up using only rare champions we'll have to see if it's worth it or not I'll definitely upload a video here on the channel talking about uh, a you know some rare options to, to put together for a rare fire night team and if it makes sense to uh, dive in and get after this, we wanna be careful about spending resources and energy. And if you've got like refills and stuff like that saved up in your inbox, because obviously we've got the fusion starting and we don't wanna get baited by events like this and then uh, dump a bunch of resources, then put ourselves in a predicament when the fusion starts. But there is something semi noteworthy going on in game. And that is here with this dragon tournament. I would say you should at least get a thousand points because there is a two X speed event. Now it's not one of the hyped up or, or not, I shouldn't say hyped up more consistent three X events. Like we saw with the Savage, but you do want to take note that right now you can see up there on the top left, there is a drop fever event for two X speed. So I would say at least grind up the thousand points in the dragon. If you can to scoop up your coins and double dip and hopefully get at least a couple usable speed artifacts. Then under the events tab, you will also see that the dungeon divers right here is going to let you double dip a little bit with the two X speed and the dragon. I would say at least get the top row done because that'll get you 10 core hammers there for the 2000. And you do have an ancient shard and some other stuff here at 4450. And it's kind of worth, you know, getting as much progress as you can on there, especially if you're still kind of mid game and all that. Um, also really important to take note of the fusion warm up event. These are typically very good and an easy way to acquire some resources as we ramp up to the fusion starting later this week and sometimes these fusion events function a little bit uh different depending on the mechanic they're going with but this one is going to be upgrade artifacts to earn points and then each day you max out at 15 points all you have to do is you look down here on the bottom is upgrade literally any artifact to level 12. So just make sure once a day as we're leading up to the fusion that you pop on in to your artifacts and you uh, upgrade something to level 12 to scoop up the uh, to scoop up the points for the daily uh, for the daily points. But uh, what you'll see here is actually gets kind of tough for me because uh, I always do a good job of going through and cleansing gear and upgrading everything so that I can see what's worth keeping and what isn't. Uh, but look at that right here. Uh, some things slip through the cracks. So that would be an opportunity for me to get everything uh to get everything done but what you can do is if you've already got something at level eight you could pop that up to level 12. so see right here i've got this at level eight and we go from level eight to level 12 for 300k and then boom we get the uh we get the, the quest that was required for that and then also if i go into the fusion uh warm-up it will give me the 15 points you can see up there on the top left today's points 15 out of 15 so ideally you take something from level 8 to level 12 and then boom you're done and you get the 15 points for your daily fusion warm-up now let's load up the shop and see if there's anything worthwhile in here so the the priority right now would be void shards ancient shards or energy and stuff to help us finish the fusion um 
the, the dungeon pack here is mostly an average offer. It's nothing great. Uh, now is not really the time. The, not really the time to be spending on soul stones. The monthly pack is uh, is an above average offer, and it, it, you know if you're spending on raid, it's never the worst thing you can buy. Other than that, uh, yeah, nothing. No, this that that string pack is not very good. So unfortunately, nothing really amazing here in the shop. But I'll always keep you in the loop on a daily basis that there is something that is worth kind of plugging in and discussing. So alrighty, remember to subscribe down below because I will head over today and I will take a look at the test server and then tomorrow morning I'll be able to upload and talk about the test server with you and keep you in the loop on everything happening in Raid Shadow Legends so you can prepare effectively and then tomorrow we'll be able to do a live stream hanging out and testing everything together and trying her out in different builds and, and, and learning the multipliers and learning the base stats and everything we need to know about Oella. So uh, I will head on over here in a little bit on the live stream uh, section of this channel and hang out with you for a couple hours if you'd like to pop in and say hi just to kind of get the week started but otherwise i will see you soon in the next video and as always thanks for watching have a good rest of your day peace